This video is presented to you by www.tasteprepadda.com In the previous video lecture, we studied about classification. Classification is the process by which anything is grouped into categories based on some easily observable characters. All living organisms are classified into various groups or taxa. This method of classification is referred as taxonomy. Taxonomy refers to systematic arrangement of organisms that includes characterization, identification, nomenclature and classification. Now I will talk about taxonomical type. Number one, classical taxonomy. Classification based on the morphological traits is called old systematics or classical or alpha taxonomy. Artificial taxonomy. This type of classification uses the habit and habitat of organisms for grouping. Pliny was the first to use this system. Practical taxonomy. This system was based on the utility of organisms. Natural taxonomy. This is based on natural similarities amongst organisms. This classification was given by John Rye and later on by Kendall, Bentham and Hooker. Phylogenetic taxonomy. Basis of this classification was phylogeny, that is the evolutionary history of species. It was introduced by Angler and Prantel. Experimental taxonomy. It is based on experimental determination of genetic interrelationships chemo taxonomy this type of classification is on the basis of chemicals present in cells or organisms numerical taxonomy it is on the basis of number of cell characters of various organisms and is also called phonetic or Adansonian classification. Cytotaxonomy. It is based on cytological studies. Karyotaxonomy. It is based on nuclear and chromosomal studies. Morphotaxonomy. It is based on morphological studies of organisms. New systematics. This classification takes into account the cytological morphological, genetical, anatomical, palynological and physiological characters. What is taxonomical hierarchy? Classification is 
not a single step process but it involves hierarchy of steps in which each step represents a rank or category since the category is a part of overall taxonomic arrangement it is called the taxonomic category and all categories together constitute the taxonomic hierarchy each category referred to as a unit of classification in fact represents a rank and is commonly termed as taxon for example insects represent a group of organisms sharing common features like three pair of jointed legs hierarchical classification are kingdom phylum or division class order family genus and species taxonomic categories showing hierarchical arrangement in ascending order taxonomic character kingdom is at highest level kingdom has many phylum and division each phylum and division having many class each class has many order each order having many family each family having many genus species become lowest category species is this basic unit of classification here similarities are higher but when we go up similarities are decreased now i will talk about species what is species species is basic unit of classification in this group organisms are closely related and capable of reproducing each other but different species do not reproduce so the reproductive isolation constitutes the most important boundary between different species the concept of biological species defines the species as a member of populations that actually interbreed in nature biological species are not defined according to similarity of appearance although appearance is helpful in identifying species organisms may appear to be alike and be different species for example western meadowlark and eastern meadowlark look almost identical to one another yet do not interbreed with each other thus they are separate species The scientific name of western meadowlark is Sternella neglecta and scientific name of eastern meadowlark is Sternella manga In another example in which organism may look different but may be same species look at these ants you may think that they are distantly related species two ant of species phydola barbata 
fulfilling different role in the same colony. Many characteristics can vary within a single species. For example, the plant hydrangea may have a pink flowers or blue flowers, but that doesn't mean that we should classify the two forms as a different species. In fact, you could cause a blue flowered plant to a pink flowered plant just by changing the pH of the soil and amount of aluminium taken up by the plant. I will continue this discussion in the next video. This video is presented to you by www.tasteprepadda.com Tasteprepadda.com provides free audio visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties, free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY, Olympia. It provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. Log on to www.testprepadda.com to watch free video lectures on different topics. To download free revision notes, to take free chapter-wise online tests, progressive tests and mock tests, to discuss doubts with mentors. Thank you for watching this video. To stay up to date with latest videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on our Facebook page, Test Prep Adda. All the best.